Science is ultimately a venture into the unknown. You have to have a sense of curiosity and courage to seek out answers to science's unanswered questions. We have to ask ourselves, what reason do we have to think we can arrive at knowledge in the first place? In my introduction to environmental science class, we tackle this question. We look at a philosophical and biblical basis for supporting our quest for knowledge in general, with science being one of the means to knowledge. One of my professors and mentors used to say, seek and ye shall find, when referring to the process of scientific discovery. I realize this invitation was a paraphrase of Matthew 7, 7 to 8. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. I do believe that God invites us to study his creation, because study leads to knowledge, and knowledge is necessary for proper care of creation. By the time environmental science majors at Multnomah finish their degree, they do a semester-long capstone project. This project requires students to ask a new question, develop a hypothesis, design an experiment to test that hypothesis, and ultimately provide new knowledge pertaining to the original question. This is where curiosity, courage, and hard work come to fruition. And our emerging environmental scientists at Multnomah have the opportunity to unveil another layer of knowledge of the mysterious world God has created.